Hello and welcome to Louise Singleton Creations. In today's video, I'm going to be trying out my Jade Diction UV resin on slate table mats and coasters to see how well the bubble effect will work on them. I've used this effect on wooden serving boards before and it works really well. You may have seen the video, but I wasn't sure how well it would work on the slate. So stay tuned and find out how it went. I was quite excited when I was in my local pound shop and I found these slate um, table mats and I thought that was really good to get a slate table mat for a pound. So I bought two of them and the reason I only bought two was because they're so heavy and I had to carry them home on the bus. So yeah, I got two of these slate table mats and they are a little bit damaged, which I think explains the price and why they were in the pound shop in the first place. But I I thought maybe I would be able to cover up the damage with the technique I'm using today. I decided I was going to cover all four corners so I took a dinner plate and drew around it to get the right curve in all four corners. After marking the corners I decided I wanted to mask the area I wouldn't be covering with some liquid latex but with hindsight I wish I hadn't bothered because it didn't work brilliantly. I found that the UV resin started to just seep over the top when I put the bubbles on the UV resin because it weighed it down and you know it squashed it down and it went over the masking fluid and so it was a waste of time. So I've kept this little bit in just to show you what I did um, you know it's your choice whether you mask it or not but I feel that it, it's not necessary I ended up taking it off again right the next job was to prepare the bubbles I took a Tupperware tub um, does anyone call them Tupperware tubs anymore? Probably not. <laughs> I'm showing sure my age now. I took a plastic tub with a lid and I put some lukewarm water in there and plenty of washing up liquid, put the lid on and gave it a good shake and then my bubbles were ready. Next, I took my large bottle of J Diction UV resin and applied it to one of the corners. You want to apply quite a lot but not too much if you get what I mean just as you can see I'm just doing it into the center of that space and then I'll push the resin to the edges where I want it to be because if obviously if you do too much it's going to go over the edges but if you don't do enough you're not going to get a good effect with your bubble technique so you would kind of need to balance just the right amount once you're happy with the placement of your resin, you need to take, scoop some of your bubbles from the tub and just gently lay them on the top of the resin. And once you can tell that it's all covered, get your UV lamp and put it over the top of the resin and bubbles for about two minutes. Remove any excess moisture with a hairdryer or a heat gun or like I'm doing here, a puppy pad which I'm using to protect my table. So I just folded it over and used it to absorb the leftover moisture. And here you can see what a fantastic texture you get from the bubbles. Isn't that amazing? I remember the first time I tried this, it was just like magic and I couldn't believe how cool it looked and how easily it was achieved. I repeated the process with all four corners and then we were ready for the next step. Okay, it's time for the paint. This time I'm using DecoArt Extreme Sheen Metallic Paint. It's an acrylic paint and I'm just going to apply it quite sparingly all over the surface of the bubbles. The reason I'm applying it sparingly is because if I put too much on, it could fill in all the little textures and you'd end up without the texture. So yeah, I'm just applying it thinly and doing a couple of coats of it. 
You may have seen another video of mine where I used this technique before. I used it on wooden serving boards and I used very bright colours for that and they turned out beautifully. But for this one, I just thought the bright colours might not quite look right with the slate. So I've kept it simple with just the one colour. And yeah, I thought the gold would look quite nice against the dark background of the slate. Once the paint was dry, I decided to have a gold edging around the inside and the reason for it was mainly because there was a rough edge around that in, inside of the corner pieces and I didn't like it having that rough edge and I knew it would be difficult to do the top coat of resin with that rough edge there as well. So that's why I decided on the gold edging that I'm doing now. And the technique I'm using is one of my favourite techniques to use with UV resin and it is something you can only do with UV resin. Now most UV resins after you've cured them under the lamp have still got a slight tackiness to them and you need to give them a little bit of a wipe with alcohol and that can be a little bit annoying but it can also be very useful because whilst it's tacky you can add uh, metallic powders or mica powders or anything you like and it will stick to that tackiness. Now the only thing about the resin I'm using today, the J. Diction UV resin is, it's so good it doesn't really have that tackiness which is on, you know, normally that's brilliant news because you don't want your finished pieces to be tacky all the time. However, I want the tackiness today. <laughs> so I'm only curing the resin for about 20 to 30 seconds. I can't remember now exactly how much I did. I think it I think it was 20, um, but 30 will be fine too. If you're not using J. Addiction resin, you can do the, the full curing time and it will probably still be slight, slightly tacky. The best thing to do is have a practice on something that doesn't matter before you do your main project. Right then, so I've had it under the UV lamp for a few seconds and it's tacky. It's firm but tacky and I've taken some metallic gold powder and I'm just going to brush that over where the UV resin is and it will stick and you get that beautiful molten gold effect and I just love it. It's so, so shiny and I think it just looks really good on the edges of things. Once my UV resin was completely coated with the gold powder, I used a big soft brush just to brush away any excess powder and I repeated the process for the other three corners. And at this point, it's worth pointing out the difference between the size of the bubbles on each corner. Do you see that bottom right corner has got the really big textures? That's because I used the bubbles straight after the, it had all, the solution had been shaken up and the bubbles were really big. But if you leave them to settle for a while, obviously your bubbles are going to get smaller. So yeah, you need to decide which effect you like the best. And I actually ended up with a mixture. <laughs> So now what I'm doing is giving it a top coat of UV resin. It is the easiest way to do it. It's not the cheapest way to do it because UV resin is more expensive than epoxy resin. But it's easy because you've got good control over it. And I do have quite a lot of the J. Addiction UV resin, so I'm using that. But yeah, like I say, you could use epoxy resin, but you would need to get your masking fluid back and, you know, mask off the back of your uh, table mat and the inside of the table mat. Otherwise, that epoxy resin will get everywhere. And so what I did was I brushed it on and I did a few layers. I did one layer, cured it, then did another layer until the top of the, you know, the surface at the top was nice and smooth. So I repeated it for all four corners and as you can see, 
that damage in the middle of the slate still stands out quite a lot, which is a real shame. But, you know, that's what you get when you buy things cheap. <laughs> but I love the finished effect. I think that organic texture that you get from the bubbles goes really well with the slate. It's got a really earthy look to it somehow, and I, I like that. So I made two coasters as well and another table mat. And yeah, I'm quite happy with the result. It's very bright and very gold, but I, I do think it looks nice. And yeah, let me know what you think. So I would like to thank J Diction for supplying the UV resin for this video. It, it's the only UV resin I use now. It's my absolute favourite. And I do use UV resin quite a lot, as you may already know. <laughs> So that's it for today. It was short and sweet, but I hope you've enjoyed it. Please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I will see you again next time. Bye for now.